Dear volunteers to take an Earth vessel, we want you to know that we, your galactic and celestial family, are here. We are here on Earth, but we resonate to a slightly higher frequency pattern than humanity. This frequency pattern serves as a camouflage so that we can walk freely through your habitat zone without being seen. However, if you expand your innate multidimensional consciousness into the resonance of the fifth dimension, you can close your physical eyes and look through your third eye. When you look through your third eye, you will have an awareness of our presence. In other words, those who can expand their consciousness, and hence their perceptions, into the frequency of the fifth dimension, can perceive our presence. At first you will only perceive us as wavering energy fields because it will take a bit of your time to remember how to accept the fifth dimension into your perceptual field. This process of consciously perceiving the fifth dimension will begin by honing your ability to consciously perceive multidimensional thought forms and energy fields. Multidimensional thought forms, an individual creation, and multidimensional energy fields, a collective creation, are initiated on the third dimension and quickly expand into the higher dimensions. You will first perceive these thought forms and energy fields in the etheric plane, which is the first resonance beyond the physical plane. These multidimensional thought forms and energy fields originate in the physical realm and expand into the higher dimensions. Multidimensional thought forms and energy fields are based on unselfish, higher frequency thoughts about the collective transmutation of Gaia and her inhabitants. When the important ingredient of unconditional love is added to a pinch of violet fire, a multidimensional thought form and or energy field is created. When you create a multidimensional thought form or energy field, you actually create a portal that originates in the third dimension and expands into the higher dimensions. This portal serves as a pathway home to the higher dimensional reality of your choice. But remember, if your thought form or energy wave is for your personal gain, it will only resonate to the third fourth dimension. To make sure your thought form is multidimensional, please remember to include Gaia and all her inhabitants. These inhabitants also include the dark ones who have appeared to make your life too difficult. However, you are the creator of your life. You wrote into your pre-birth contract any engagement with the darkness that was necessary for you to fully transmute your entire cycle of incarnations on Gaia's Earth. You came to Gaia within this now to transmute any residue of darkness from your myriad earthly incarnations. Most important, you are transmuting that residue, not for your personal self, but for the planet. When you choose to serve your planet in this manner, your consciousness expands from personal consciousness to planetary consciousness. This point is vital for you to understand because if you have the selfish goal of getting off this planet, you will not expand your consciousness into the fifth dimension. Most important, you will not be of assistance to planetary ascension if you are creating a selfish thought form, which can only resonate to the mid-fourth dimension. Throughout your present incarnation, you have been clearing your personal energy field by mastering your lessons of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect is energy out is always energy back. Simply, that law states that which you send into your reality will return to you. If you have a lower frequency of consciousness, it will take more time for what you send out to return. It is for this reason that the power over ones have not had their energy fields returned to them yet. However, the lost ones cannot expand their consciousness, even into the fourth dimension, for the effects of their causes are awaiting them in that frequency of reality. Those of you who have achieved a degree of mastery of the law of cause and effect, are beginning to have experiences of the fifth dimensional return slash effect from your multidimensional causes. In other words, you are remembering how to create multidimensional thought forms and energy fields. When you were first learning to be the creator of your reality, you unconsciously sent out fear-based thought forms, such as I don't have enough. Then, not enough would return to you. Fortunately, over your time you realized your mistake and began to listen to your thoughts before you sent them out into your world. You have learned that if you sent out thanksgiving for what you already have, you can release all fear of loss and create abundance by being thankful for what you have. 
In that manner, you have gained this degree of mastery of one of Gaia's primary operational constructs of energy out equals energy back. Therefore, you have moved into the realization that your every thought and emotion join into powerful thought forms to create the matrix on which your present personal or collective incarnation is based. Fortunately, your growing mastery of cause and effect has taught you that when you put out positive thought forms and energy fields, they will return to you. It is through the practice of this law of if you want something, give it to another, your life begins its transmutation into higher and higher states of consciousness. As you move into higher consciousness, you will begin to perceive higher frequencies of reality. Through these higher dimensional perceptions, you remember more and more about your higher dimensional self. These perceptions will likely be captured with your open third and or high heart. You will use your third eye and high heart, because your physical eyes are not calibrated to recognize this frequency of reality as real. Your physical brain is calibrated to perceive the fifth dimension as just your imagination. But remember, your imagination is your fifth dimensional thought. We, myself Miter and the Arcturian, stand before you in our fifth dimensional light body. That is, I am in my fifth dimensional light body, but the Arcturian remains in a formless shape that wavers up and down the frequency scale of reality. The Arcturian is shifting frequencies to remind you that we, you, and all life is multidimensional. Also, the Arcturians seldom lower their energy package below the tenth dimension. Soon, you, the members of our way team, will seldom lower your frequency below your light body. Of course, soon is a third dimensional, time-bound word. Hence, it has no meaning in the realms of the now. We ask you to meditate for a moment, to expand your consciousness beyond time. Yes, it is quite simple for you now. Your challenge has shifted to remaining within the constrictions of time. This challenge will soon relate to all of our volunteers, as your now to return to yourself is approaching. However, we cannot give you a time because the shift is not about time, it is about frequency. When you fully remember and gain a degree of mastery of your multidimensional consciousness, you will be able to be within time, as well as in the now. However, then you will appear to the time-bound ones in the same manner as we appear to you, as wavering forms of light. As you begin to experience fifth-dimensional transmissions while you are also engaged in your habitual 3D-4D consciousness, you will have brief experiences of blinking out of whatever 3D experience you were having. Since your physical brain is unable to adhere to that higher frequency of information, you will need to remember to store your higher communications in your multidimensional mind before you fully return to your 3D reality. Your multidimensional mind is able to experience both the physical and the higher dimensional realities within the same now. Likely, it will take some practice as well as a conscious connection with your higher self to integrate your fifth dimensional experiences into your physical life. It is at this point of multidimensional integration that your process of creating and or reading multidimensional thought forms will be so very helpful. These multidimensional thought forms are actually portals that can guide your consciousness along a sequential path in which you can slowly adapt to each frequency of reality before you move on to the next. You have all had fourth dimensional experiences via your dreams, which speak a symbolic language that can be difficult to understand. A multidimensional thought form is a pure energy field that you may or may not be conscious of experiencing. That is, your third dimensional self may not be conscious of that experience, but your fourth and fifth dimensional self will be. Your physical self may experience a glitch in time, spacing out, and or moments of forgetfulness. However, that is actually a moment of remembering the multidimensional you that was forgotten in the rush of daily life. Therefore, we recommend that you begin each day by allowing yourself to reconnect with your multidimensional self. We recommend that you find a time, even if it is not at the top of the day, in which you can take at least 15 minutes to tune into yourself. If you can establish a ritual, such as, go to the same place at the same time. Bring some means by which you can write your experience. If you enjoy music, play some soft music. 
Read something spiritual for a moment to shake off the 3D. Close your eyes and reflect on what you have read. With your hands on the keyboard, or your pen in hand on the paper, relax and breathe into a higher relaxed state of consciousness. To get started, you can always write something like, Dear One, Higher Self etc. Do you have a message for me now? Relax and release all expectation or thinking. Allow the pen to write, or your hands to move on the keyboard. If you stay with that simple plan, you will gradually build a personal relationship with your higher self. It is helpful to do this exercise at the same time and same place every time. If you can maintain this commitment every day for 21 days, you will create a habit. Then, if you skip a day, you will miss that time with yourself. You will also realize the importance of keeping your promise with yourself. If you cannot have this meeting every day, then try to be consistent with the days that you choose so that you can keep your agreement to meet with yourself. Remember, you are important, and Gaia needs you. Once you remember how to communicate with your multidimensional self, your channel, meaning the frequency field of your energy package, will be open to all the myriad galactics, celestials, and ascended masters that are now ready to communicate with you. Blessings, dear ones, who took an earth vessel to assist Gaia. We thank you for your service and commend you for your courage. Blessings.